Okay, this is an application that gets us more familiar with the Poisson distribution. So the Poisson is a really, really interesting distribution for reasons that we'll see later. It has connections to a lot of other distributions, both discrete and continuous. Very, very useful counting distribution. Um, and it's actually uh, Professor Joe Blitzstein's favorite distribution, or I would I would guess it. I think it's his favorite distribution. Um, so Poisson is discrete. Uh, we have this kind of story of rare events, so like a lot of trials uh, for success, small probability of success in any one trial. I like to think of it as lottery tickets, right? Like we're counting the number of winning lottery tickets. We have one parameter, lambda. Um, lambda basically gives us sort of the rate at which we expect successes. So the expectation is always lambda. If we have lambda equals 10, we expect a value of 10. Um, and again, this number of draws, as we said, is kind of not super applicable here. Uh, we're just going to allow it to set it to 1,000. We can adjust number of draws to see how uh, sampling variability changes. When we have a small number of draws, we should kind of see the graph bouncing around. But here we'll just set it to 1,000, so we get a nice clean graph. Um, so, you know, we can hit go to sample a couple of times, and we can see how the Poisson is centered around 10, right? That makes sense, because lambda is 10, that's the mean. We expect 10 winning lottery tickets. Um, and it's skewed to the right. Remember, skewed to the right means that the, the sled slot, the long slope is in this direction to the right. That makes sense because the support of a Poisson is zero uh, to infinity, right? So it kind of bumps up against, it can't go less than zero, so it kind of makes sense that it skews to the right. In general, it also, you know, that, that's just like kind of intuition for the small value of lambda. We can see as we, you know, decrease lambda, we sort of get this, we continue to get this skewed right distribution where it's kind of set around one. And as we increase lambda, we have lambda equal 30. Um, we move out to lambda equals 30. And it starts to actually look a little bit, um, more symmetric, right? So if we start down here with lambda equals five, it's skewed to the right. But as we get away from zero, now zero is kind of farther out, we see this more symmetry. And this is a result um, that we'll see much later uh, when we discuss the central limit theorem um, and sort of like things becoming normal in the end. And we also haven't discussed the normal distributions, so don't worry about that yet. But suffice to say that, you know, as we increase lambda, this moves to the right. It's always centered sort of around lambda. And you can also, again, imagine decreasing the number of draws, and you can see how um, we don't get as, as a consistent a shape as if we really increase the number of draws and have less sampling variability. So that's the Poisson distribution.